Recently, I dove into the stuff that NVIDIA talked about during their GDC panel, and I found quite the nugget of information. Honestly, it looks like 2022 will be a landmark year for FPS boosting technologies. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. So it seems like in 2022, we'll have all of the upscaling we'll ever need. From AMD, we now have RSR or Radeon Super Resolution, which is compatible with thousands of games, but has some limitations, like only being compatible with AMD GPUs. And of course, the image quality suffering a little bit in some cases because it has to upscale the entire image, post-processing and HUD included. Then we have FSR, or should I say, we'll have FSR 2.0, an amazing looking temporal upscaler that will work well with any GPUs that came out in the last five years, whether it's a GPU from Intel, AMD, or Nvidia. The problem here is that it needs to be added by the developer into the game. And according to AMD's own chart, it can take anywhere from a couple of days to over four weeks to implement. From NVIDIA, we have uh, NVIDIA Image Scaling, or NIS, and this one is similar to RSR. It works on thousands of games and it scales the entire game after all of the post-processing. Also, it's only compatible with NVIDIA GPUs. And then we have DLSS, or Deep Learning Super Sampling, an amazing looking upscaler that only works on NVIDIA RTX level GPUs because it supposedly takes advantage of the Tensor cores. And lastly, we have Intel's upcoming XESS. Honestly, XESS is kind of like an in-between DLSS and FSR. When it's used on an upcoming Intel XEHPG GPU that has the XMX matrix engines, that's like Nvidia's tensor cores, well, it will use them to accelerate the process of super resolution. If you're on an XELP integrated GPU or an AMD RX 6000 GPU or on any NVIDIA GPUs from the 1000 series up, well, it will use DP4A instructions to accelerate XESS. It's a little worse than XMX, but at least it will work. It's a shame that older GPUs from AMD like the 5700 XT won't be compatible with XESS, but it's for a good reason since the 5700 series or well the whole 5000 series doesn't support dp4a at least not officially anyways all of those upscalers are either amazing right now or have shown some promises like fsr 2.0 and xess but there is one thing that's really annoying the better ones like dlss fsr and xess all need to be implemented by developers on a game by game basis not only that but the segment is pretty fragmented with most games only supporting either nvidia's dlss or amd's fsr and it could get worse with xess right now there's over 150 games that support dlss and if we look at fsr a little over 80 games have support with 20 or more coming this year Year. And out of those 230 plus games, guess how many support both DLSS and FSR? Well, around 20 of them. That's it. But it looks like things are about to change. And the company making this change is, well, NVIDIA. Yeah. They recently introduced Streamline for developers. Streamline is a plugin for devs where instead of having to manually integrate each technology's SDK into a game, the devs just, well, need to tell Streamline where the new plugin is and what information it needs. Plugin being FSR or XESS. Intel has already voiced their support for XESS on Streamline. And well, while AMD didn't say anything, FSR is an open source technology. So Nvidia can integrate it into Streamline too. It's kind of funny how Nvidia really doesn't want AMD on their charts. Prime example of saying AMD without saying AMD here. Oh, and by the way, Streamline isn't just for super resolution technologies. As you can see from Nvidia's website right here, you could get deep learning anti-aliasing or DLAA, Nvidia's real-time denoiser, or even Nvidia image scaling. This version of Nvidia image scaling though, or NIS, wouldn't be a driver level one. It would actually be developed into the game. That's a one up for NIS compared to RSR. This also opens the possibility for any of the nine fidelity FX technologies from AMD to make it into more places. So by the end of this year, that meager 20 games 
that support DLSS and FSR, well, it might explode. And of course, XCSS will explode with it too. At least that's what I hope. So what do you guys think about this whole streamline thing from NVIDIA? Do you think it could be used in nefarious ways from uh, the green team? Let me know what you think down below. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for today's video. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you want to talk about today's story. It's only, we only talked about one thing. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.